Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm going to discuss my all-time favorite White Sox team. In other words, if you were to take and make a baseball team, a bench, a bullpen, a starting rotation, a lineup, all that good stuff, of White Sox, I'm going to show you what my team would be, my White Sox team. Um, now, um, the ground rules for this are that they had to have played during my lifetime so that I, you know, seen them play. So you're not going to see Big Ed Walsh on the team, although I would love to put Big Ed Walsh on the team. And you're not going to see Shoeless Joe Jackson on the team, none of those guys. So, um, that having been said, let's get into it. So, here is my diagram of my all-time White Sox team. So, you can see... Around the diamond, you've got uh, Pudge Fisk at catcher, got Canerco at first base. There he is, big Canerco at first. Then you got Tony Bernazard at second. You've got uh, Tim Anderson, the shortstop, um, who is currently the shortstop and had a bust out year last year. And then you got Jim Morrison over at third. Love Jim Morrison. Uh, left field, you got Kittle. And then in center, you got Chet Lemon. And then uh, around over and right, you got Hal Baines. And we're talking about the ha Harold Baines when he was actually a good fielding right fielder. Before he became just a DH. Uh, the starting rotation up there, you can see I've got um, Mark Burley, probably spelled his name wrong. Uh, and then you've got um, Floyd Bannister. Remember when I was young, when I was in high school, I had a Floyd Bannister jersey. Number 24. Then you got um, uh, Alex Fernandez. Remember Alex Fernandez? Man, that guy was good. And then you've got um, John Garland. And then uh, at the bottom there, you have, of course, Black Jack McDowell. So that's a great White Sox pitching staff, i got to say. Oh, and by the way, down here, DH, um, you have Jose Abreu, whose name I did try to spell right this time. Uh, so out in the bullpen, you got Bobby Jenks, you've got uh, Bummer. I just like the guy's name, but he is coming. He is uh, showing that he's improving too. So hopefully we can look forward to that happening. Uh, then you got Ed Farmer. Ed Farmer, especially from the 1979 White Sox team. That dude was a workhorse and he was good. And then you got um, Kirk McCaskill. Always like Kurt McCaskill. And then, uh, yeah, Wayne Edwards and Scott Radinsky rounded out down there. And then, uh, of course, with the bench, you've got uh, the, uh, the usual suspects. you got Karkovice to back up Pudge Fisk. You've got uh, Grayback out there. You've got uh, Lance Johnson. Um, and then uh, who else? Oh, Pazednik. Yeah, who could forget? Espod. And then, uh, oh, and then, of course, Warren Newsom. The one thing I remember about Warren Newsom was the guy could not hit all that well, but he got on base. The, he walked all the time. I mean, he, that dude was a walking machine. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my team, and I'm sticking to it. Now, you know, and of course, we're talking about from like the mid to late 70s up until now. So there was a lot of White Sox players. So a lot of guys couldn't make it, you know, like Frank Thomas. I love Frank Thomas and I love what he did for the White Sox, but didn't have room for Frank Thomas. So, you know, um, but yeah, my man Canerco. So what do you think about uh, his Hall of Fame chances? I mean, he made he made my team at first base, but 
I don't know. Making it into the hall, that's, uh, especially at first base, is, that's a little, um, that's a tall order. Because there's a lot of great first basemen in the Hall of Fame. So we'll have to see if he gets in, if he can, uh, you know, get in with them. But uh, at some point. Um, looking forward to seeing how he does on the votes on, you know, his first time. I think this year is his first time on the ballot. So I'm looking forward to see how he he does, you know, in his first year on the ballot. But it uh, should be interesting. So what do you guys think of this team? You like it? Thumbs up? Maybe a thumbs up? Um, who would you replace? Um, how would your White Sox team be different? I would especially love to hear from the other White Sox fans um, what uh, players they would have put on it. And you can imagine, I mean, this is just like I said, just from like the mid-70s to now. You can only imagine if I had qualified it, you know, qualified any player that had played prior to 1975. Um, that would have been crazy. So, um, that's what I got. And I am looking forward to seeing some comments. And let's get a discussion going on the all-time White Sox team, everybody's favorite White Sox team. And that's another thing. It's not necessarily, I'm not saying this is the best White Sox team you could put together. I'm saying these are my favorites um, in the time that I've been watching the White Sox and have been a White Sox fan. But they, you know, in some cases, they're not the best possible people you could have put out there. So I would like to hear what everybody's uh you know, White Sox team would comprise, and uh, and then we'll uh, we can compare notes and see where we're the same, see where we're different. Um, you know, different people have different likes and different favorite players and players that have you know different favorite players that have played for the team, and uh, I'd be interesting to find out what yours is. But right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.